again, everybody. Welcome back to Enjoy English School. I'm Bruce. And I'm Lori. Today we have a first of two part unbelievable story, which is why we call it The Amazing Legacy of the Unknown Woman of the Same. 所以呢，今天来到我们追根究底的单元，那它是今天跟明天两天的文章啊、哦。那么中文的标题呢，叫做 CPR 安妮的前世今生啊、哦，已经有点出了我们女主角的这个名字啊、哦。但是呢，这个刚刚讲到，因为是一个真的很令人赞叹的一个很神奇的故事，所以刚刚呢，这个特别 Bruce 老师强调了我们英文标题里的 Amazing 的那个部分啊、哦。那么这确实是一个很有趣的故事，所以我们赶快跟着 Bruce 老师一起来看看我们今天的。文章吧。Okay, let's get started here. First paragraph. According to a Parisian legend, sometime in the late 19th century, the dead body of a young woman was pulled out of the Seine River. Parisian is the adjective of Paris. Paris is the noun, the name of a city. Its adjective we add i a n, but the s becomes z sound. Parisian. A legend is a story which cannot be proved completely true. Sometimes stories are very, very old, and then we will call them a legend. They may be much more recent. Uh, this is not yesterday's news, but it's a hundred or a little more than a hundred years old. So maybe not all the facts are exactly true, but it's a powerful story, and people still talk about it.、Uh, now we are in the what twenty-first century now, and this was in the nineteenth century. It doesn't tell us exactly what year, so it could be from one to two hundred years ago. And the story basically is the dead body of a young woman was pulled out of the Seine River. The Seine River is very famous in France because that is where the city of Paris was built、uh, on both sides or on both banks, B A N K, which of course is also a type of business. But the bank of a river is the side of the river. And、uh, Paris is on both sides of the Seine River, and this poor、uh, dead woman was pulled out of the river.、Mm. 好的，所以我们进入文章的第一句来看到说，根据啊这个巴黎的传说啊，所以这边是 according to， 首先看到的根据。那么呢，刚刚讲到巴黎的哦、啊、这个字呢，所以呢它这个形容词，那么加了这个字尾的 i a n 啊，那它这个 s 这个发音也变化啊。然后呢，以及 legend， 刚刚布鲁斯老师也都提到，这个是呃讲到没有办法被完全证明为真的故事，但是人们呢一直在传着。啊、哦，那这种传说我们就可以用 legend 这个字。所以根据这个巴黎的传说呢，啊、哦，在十九世纪末的某个时候，这里我们看到一个 sometime 啊、哦，那这边刚好呢整理一下，因为 sometime 很容易呢会混淆的。这里我们讲到是某个时间点，它可能是过去，可能是未来啊、哦。如果你看到 some， 然后中间空一格 time， 那这是指有一些时间啊、哦，比如说 for some time。那如果呢？你看到 sometimes 一个字，那那是我们的频率副词，指的是有些时候啊。所以这边帮大家 review 一下。那这里的 sometime 呢？呃，某个时间点，在十九世纪末的时候，那么有一名年轻的女子，她的尸体被拖出了塞纳河。No one knew who she was, so the Paris mortuary put her on public display, hoping that someone would identify her. When her body was pulled out, the、uh, police and the doctors and so on, no one knew who she was, but they wanted to identify her. For example, if they wanted to prepare a grave for her to bury her after her death,、uh, they need a name, or they should have a name if they can find it. A mortuary is a place where dead bodies are kept. Another word for that is morgue, m o r g u e, m o r g u e. 
Notice they both start with M-O-R. That is a root for things that are dead or dying. Uh, morgue, mortuary. They put her on public display. Uh, they probably laid her body down and covered it, but her, you could see her face or how tall she would have been. They were hoping someone, oh, I know her, she, she's my neighbor or a relative, something like that. They let the public look at her. Again, they wanted to identify her. They didn't want to bury her with no name. Mm. 好，所以接下来这一句呢，讲到说了，那么这一名呢，从这个塞纳河被拖出来的年轻女性啊，没有人知道她是谁，所以呢，这个巴黎的殡仪馆啊，就把她呢放到这个外面啊，公开的这个示众啊。这里呢，我们看到的这个 public display， display 本来就是展示的意思，那再加了一个 public 就是公开的，所以呢，就是让刚刚 Bruce 老师讲的，让这个所有的人都可以看得到她的地方，把她放在那边哦、啊，那么就是。是希望怎么样呢？有人可以这个 identify her。identify 这个动词呢，它指的是这个辨认啊、哦，有时候是指确认。那你的后面直接加受词就可以啊、哦。所以呢，希望有人能够出来，我们讲指认他了哦，就能够找出他的身份来。No one came forward, and to this day, her identity remains a mystery. Come forward. This is a kind of police term. Meaning that someone will admit, or someone will go to the police to give information.、Uh, they won't、uh, hide or keep a secret some information that they know. They will come forward. They will come out and tell. In this case, the police or the doctors. I know who this woman is. Her name is. However, to this day, until now, up to now. Her identity, who she is, remains a mystery, remains a secret. That's why it's a legend. Hmm. 那么接下来讲到了，虽然这样子公开示众，但是没有人呢 came forward。那么刚刚讲到了啊，这个 Bruce 老师提到，这个就是在英文里头专门在指，就是像这个警察啊。那么有人啊，他的警察在找一些东西的时候呢，有人能够这个出来啊，这个我们中文是用出来，然后呢去提供一些线索或提供一些资讯这样子的一个动作啊。那这里的话呢，没有人出来啊，出来干嘛 ？Identify her 来指认这个。无名的女性是谁？那所以呢，一直到现在为止 ，to this day， 那么她的 identity， 她的身份呢，依然是一个谜题。However, an attendant at the mortuary found her peaceful, half smile so beautiful that he had a death mask made from her face. While she was on public display, there had to be.、Uh, Doctors and the people who help doctors, not necessarily a nurse, because we're not in a hospital. We are in a mortuary or a morgue. Still, we need people to、uh, make sure that people don't touch the body, and they're helpers. They are attendants. An attendant,、uh, you can think of flight attendant,、uh, someone who helps, not. The pilots, not not to fly the plane, but to help the passengers.、Uh, an attendant. We use this word also in maybe old folks' homes or、uh, special kinds of hospitals where people have to stay for long, long periods of time. The people who work there can also be called attendants.、Uh, one of them in this Parisian mortuary felt, oh, what a beautiful. Half smile this woman has. It's not a full smile like she's happy, but she doesn't look dead.、Uh, it seems there's still some life in her because she has a bit of a smile on her face. And in the old days, they would make a death mask.、Uh, they placed something over the dead person's face and pressed it, and、uh, because of the material, they could then. Make a hard mask of it.、Uh, my mother had this done for her father when he died.、Uh, she's European, and it's quite common there making a death mask. Hmm. 
。好的，所以接下来呢，这句讲到说，然而啊，哦，这个殡仪馆呢有一位服务人员哦，我们可以这样翻这个 attendant。刚刚呢，布鲁斯老师解释到，就如同像我们也会用到飞机上的空服人员那个 flight attendant 一样啊、哦，就是呢这个整个呃。帮助啊、哦，这个现场我们很接近工作人员，那也可以翻成服务人员啊、哦。那么有一位呢，他是怎么样呢？他觉得啊、哦，就是这个无名女性呢，她那平静而且隐约的笑容啊、哦，若隐若现的这个叫 half smile 啊、哦。那么呢，她是那么样的美，以至于呢，她、啊、就决定照她的脸啊、哦，叫做 from her face， 然后呢，来做一个死亡的面具。好，那这里的 had a death mask made， 这里的 had 是实义动词的用法，然后 something 后面再接一个 pp， 哦，是这样子的结构。This is how, excuse me a moment here, <笑> Langoni de la Seine,、uh, the unknown woman of the Seine was born. I never studied French, but we have a French expert here at Ivy, and.、Uh, He trained me at this. If I made a mistake, it's not his fault. But notice,、uh, we give you a translation. Her French name,、uh, English-speaking people, I had no idea what this meant. But I knew that what we call the Seine is the river, and it's in English the whole phrase is the unknown woman of the Seine. 嗯，好，所以这一段的最后一句讲到，而这个呃，我们讲塞塞纳河的这个无名女性啊、哦，或者是 l a n g o n u i de la Seine 呢，她呢就是这个样子诞生了。Okay, okay let's continue with my terrible French. <laughs> the face of l a n g o n u i de la Seine. But here we just use a short form. Thank God, Langoni may have started as a plaster cast. That's the death mask we talked about. The material is plaster, and we use that to make many things. You cover something with plaster, and then it turns hard. And when you take it off, you have an imprint of something in it, just like the original. But It quickly spread from the mortuary to nearby souvenir shops. When people saw this plaster cast, they could see, oh, what a beautiful woman and what an interesting smile she has. So nearby,、uh, wherever she was pulled out of the Seine River, there were souvenir shops, bookstores, coffee shops, and so on.、Uh, that's Paris for you, and. Uh, uh, People could see this, and and they wanted one, so people would make a cast of the plaster cast, and it became a, a very popular sales item. Hmm. 所以呢，刚刚刚在这个休息之呃前一段的时候啊，这个布鲁斯老师有解释了一下这个死亡面具啊。那么就是这个当时呢，在以前的时候呢，啊，这个很多人也会这样做。那么就是呃，在这个死者的脸上啊，那么用这个石膏弄的一个模具，那么呢，等于做了一个面具，留下了这个死者的容貌啊。那么呢，接下来的这句我们就来讲到了。那么这个无名少女她的脸脸孔呢，啊，她的这个脸的 face of l a n g o n u 呢，她呢可能。在一开始的时候呢，只是一个石膏的模具啊、哦。那么呢，但是它很快的就 spread 这个扩散出去，那传出去啊、哦。从哪里呢？从这个殡仪馆呢，扩散到附近的这个纪念品店了。From there, the souvenir shops casts a cast of a cast of her gently smiling face spread across Europe, not just in France. And inspired painters, poets, and novelists. Novelists are authors who write books or short stories, novellas, and all kinds of things like that.、Uh, so, this、uh, woman, who nobody knew, left a strong impression on people who saw her plaster cast.、Mm. 所以接下来这句讲到说，那么从那儿，那是哪儿呢？当然就是指从纪念商品的这个商店
啊，纪念品的商店那儿呢开始，那么 casts 这里呢用了复数啊，因为不再是一个了，因为它已经被复制成很多个这个它的这个呃脸的模具啊，所以呢，很多的这个模具是怎么样的模具？它那啊这个 gently 很温和温柔的这个微笑的脸庞的这个模具呢，就 spread 啊 ，again 我们用到这个动词啊，就是传出去，那么传到呢整个欧洲，而且呢 inspired 是启发的意思。啊，这是一个很好的动词。那么 ，inspired， 它呢启发了画家、诗人，还有小说家们。啊，那么呢，这里的话，刚刚呃 ，Bruce 老师有提到一个字 ，impression。啊，这个字蛮好的，我们请 Bruce 老师也拼一下。I M P R E S S I O N。I M P R E S S I O N。Impression， a strong impression means。You will remember this for or understand it. You'll understand it quickly or remember it for a long time. 嗯，所以呢，给人很强烈的印象，当然就是会让你这个记忆呢，这个维持蛮长的一段时间。Images of Langonis' face appeared on the walls of upper and middle class homes as a must-have decoration. This is one way to say that it became very, very popular. Everybody had to have it, so we call it a must-have something. Here, it's a decoration. They would、uh, put it on the wall of a living room or in a bedroom because the smile made people feel comfortable. And even in death, this woman seemed to be communicating or、uh, touching people's feelings.、Mm. 所以呢，接下来讲到说，那么无名少女她那脸庞的这个图像，那个 image 啊、哦，那个图案呢，那么出现在叫 appeared， 出现在哪里呢？在这个很多的上流以及中产阶级家庭里面的墙壁上出现在那儿。那么呢，成为一个什么呢 ？As a must have， 刚刚呢，布鲁老师提到必须要有的，所以换言之是一个。必备的啊，但大家都一定会有，因为太流行的一个装饰。那么这个呢，就是说明了当时啊，它的受欢迎的程度。We can finish up、uh, this day's、uh, text with the last sentence. Since then, since this time when she was found and put on display. And then、uh, artists who were inspired by her、uh, talked about her or reproduced her, the,、uh, the making more and more casts of her famous smile.、Uh, she was called the Mona Lisa of Paris. Mona Lisa, of course, the most famous painting in the world by Leonardo da Vinci. The Mona Lisa of Paris has been brought back to life time and again. This means again and again, no stop.、Uh, people still in Europe、uh, will buy and keep a cast of her face, or a drawing of her face, or read a poem about her face, and so on.、Mm. 所以呢，最后这一句呢，讲到说，那么从那时候起啊，这个我们被称为啊，巴黎的蒙娜丽莎的这名女孩呢，她啊，就这个 being brought back to life， 就是呢，她重生，她复苏啊。那么呢 ，time and again 是一再的啊，不断的。所以呢，她就一再的，因为刚刚提到的，就是她非常的流行。然后呢，很多的，刚刚不少是用到一个字叫做这个。复制啊、uh, ，reproduce， 所以呢，我们可以讲到它一再的重生是这样的一个感觉。那我们也拼一下 reproduce。R E P R O D U C E。R E here means again produce make P R O D U C E reproduce。嗯 ，OK， 好，以上是我们今天的文章。Now let's get into review。Today, I'd like to review a couple of things. They're both in the first paragraph. We have a long phrase: "Put her or put someone on public display." There's another easier way to say that. Public display. Display is a noun. Display is also a verb. So, displayed her. 
is enough or displayed her in public or to the public. And the other one is on the same line further uh, to the right. To identify someone, that's a verb, uh, is simply to recognize someone and then tell other people, this is who. I know this person and I know who this person is. This person is, say, say, say. Uh, that is to identify someone. Mm. 好的，所以呢，今天布鲁斯老师帮我们复习哦，也补充的话，第一个就是把 display 啊、呃，能够当从名词改成当动词，那么 display 后面直接接某人啊、呃，然后呢，你要再接公开的话呢，你 to the public 或者是 in public 都可以，所以你可以直接 display her， 以及呢，刚刚讲到的 identify 这个部分啊、呃。好的，那么以上的话呢，是我们今天的文章，那明天啊、呃，我们还会再来看到。那今天讲的是安妮的前世，所以明天我们要来看到的是她的今生。生了，非常的有趣。那么明天也要一起跟布鲁斯老师来看。那么呢，这个今天的文章，如果啊、呃、你想要复习的话呢，也别忘了可以上 YouTube 搜寻常春藤，那么找到这个影片，让我们一起来复习。那么我们就明天见了，各位，拜拜。Bye bye. <音樂>第五十八页，追根究底 ，CPR 安妮的前世今生。The amazing legacy of the unknown woman of the Seine, according to a Parisian legend, sometime in the late nineteenth century, the dead body of a young woman was pulled out of the Seine River. No one knew who she was, so the Paris mortuary put her on public display, hoping that someone would identify her. No one came forward. And to this day, her identity remains a mystery. However, an attendant at the mortuary found her peaceful half smile so beautiful that he had a death mask made from her face. This is how L'Inconnu de la Seine, the unknown woman of the Seine, was born. The face of L'Inconnu may have started as a plaster cast. But it quickly spread from the mortuary to nearby souvenir shops. From there, casts of her gently smiling face spread across Europe and inspired painters, poets, and novelists. Images of Lanconu's face appeared on the walls of upper and middle class homes as a must-have decoration. Since then, the girl called the Mona Lisa of Paris. Has been brought back to life time and again.